Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be real quick, but it's really important that you understand this. Pay attention, follow, 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 pay attention. Here's the thing. The 13th Amendment was done to so-called abolish African slavery. As a matter of fact, that's a lie. The Northwest Ordinance already had the exact same words as the 13th Amendment. It was never supposed to be in any state constitution. No state was supposed to have any slaves. 13th Amendment was not an amendment. It was the Northwest Ordinance that originally said it. Go back, watch the last video that I did on YouTube explaining this. The first clause of the 14th Amendment, the article, the amendment, was primarily intended to confer citizenship upon the Negro race. There was no such thing as the Negro race, y'all. No such thing. Got to turn my voice recognition off. Okay? Give me a second for that thing to just shut off. He wasn't supposed to say that. One second. That wasn't supposed to come on. But hold on. We got to go back to number one. The first section of the clause was to confer citizenship on a Negro race. Go ahead and look up and see if you can find something that is officially called a Negro race. Now, the second gave definitions for citizenship of the United States and citizenship of the state. Now, hold on now, just so that you know, in order to give it, pay attention, a definition means that it's not natural. Why? Because there's no definition for man. Go ahead, I dare you. Go find a definition in the law books for man. Sorry, ain't one. All right, give me a second. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got to point something out to you. You're going to love this. Okay, now this is the book from Noxabee County, Mississippi. Noxabee County, Noxabee. Go ahead and learn how to spell it. N-O-X-U-B-E-E. Noxabee County, Mississippi. This is a publication that was done way back in the day. I'm talking about this, 1875. Guess what happened in 1875? Now, y'all not going to believe this. Not only did Negroes have the, you know, freedom to rule. That's right. Negroes could be elected. They could be nominated. They could be all of that. 1875, you see that? We had to go through this reconstruction. See, restructuring the whole United States. But however, guess what? <laughs> Negroes who were voters. Did you know that black men, colored folk, had the right to vote well before women had the right to vote in this country? How come they haven't taught us that? Hmm? How come they haven't taught us that? How come we've been taught everything else but this? And then if they had the right to vote before women, then why was 1964 what it was? How come nobody knew? How come nobody said nothing? How come we don't have no history books talking about black men being given the right to vote before white women were given the right to vote? You see, now y'all want to sit up here and make this a black thing. This ain't a black thing. This is a commerce thing. Got to go.